The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start off with a uh, note to Bo, who was looking at the hogs yesterday. I posted this hog chart because we had the 382 retracement there. We closed a tad above the 382 retracement, and with the ABCD pattern measuring a little bit higher, the best way to have handled that was to get out of it and wait to see what happened. And as you know, if you're following hogs today, we went up within, uh, I think, about four ticks of that exact ABCD pattern. So you could have reentered that trade and, uh, you know, followed the risk the best that you can. Now, folks, I, I got a really interesting email from somebody last night that uh, talked about you know the show and the fact that I joke about no one calling in and stuff like that and that that's basically a standing joke between our uh, chief technician there Al and myself and I understand people don't like to you know talk in public which I do but what it does do is it helps me you know with material because it takes me about an hour hour and a half to prepare you know the show for today and I want to get as much help as I possibly can by the way we do have Tim Bost as our guest today and uh, that'll be a very, very interesting uh, uh, show for sure because he has some really good stuff, but that'll be on. The other thing, folks, at TFNN, you know, Tom, the O'Briens really do a great job of bringing us some great stuff. And you, you're going to get a chance here today and then also on the 28th of July to do some work with Basil Chapman. And he's a real pro, folks. So he's a couple years younger than me, very, very smart, and it's easy to understand. And uh, you're going to get, I think, 10 to 15 hours, something like that, between the 14th of July today and then on the 28th of July. So uh, if you want to help yourself with some education, uh, I, I would highly, highly recommend that because he's really good, especially the kind of markets that we're having now. You know, we're having some really, really big swinging markets. And I think that's uh, that's what we really like to see as we uh, move through these markets. Now, let's play attention The one someone asked me one other question is he's getting flack from his family saying that this trading stuff is no different than gambling and that's really you know he really shouldn't do it he should go out and get a regular job folks <laughs> uh, been that regular job uh, many times but uh, basically what you're looking at here is you're watching a situation where people don't understand what our business is about folks when we take a trade on basically what we are we're becoming an insurance broker if we sell short we're hedging a position for somebody. If we go long, we're helping someone with supply of the inventory. That's really what we're doing. That nothing more, nothing less. That's exactly what we're doing. So you'll hear it all the time that it's just like gambling. It has no relationship with gambling except one thing, and that is it keeps score with money. A gambling event starts with an event that you have no control over. The blow of the whistle, flip of the coin, spin of the wheel, turn of the card, roll of the dice, Toss of the ball, whatever it is, once that starts, it goes until it's over and you don't have any control over it until it's finally finished. Here we have total control and we can vary our bet and we can even cancel our bet if we want to. So there's really no – but the problem is you try to explain that to somebody and it's really, really difficult you know, to do that. And that, that's, that's, that's a really a, a tough thing to do. So that that's the main thing. In fact, one of the things in the letter that the gentleman sent to me, I keep focusing all the time about risk control, risk control, risk control. Folks, that, that's that's what it's all about. That's why I keep doing it. And he, he certainly understood that. But he did say, you know, why is it that you, you know, you're always saying, well, I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know what's going to happen here and that kind of stuff. Well, folks, I that that's because I don't know. And I, you know, and the reason is you don't really need to know what's going to happen next in order to make money. That's the that's the ten four of the whole thing. You know, that's the that's the whole reason of, of what we're doing here. So that that's why I, I think it's important to remember these things because 
It's all about, you know, in, in fact, is continuing your education is one of the things that you want to be doing. So treat yourself. Instead of going out for a night on the town with your wife, you know, attend uh, Basil's uh, uh, webinar. You're going to learn a lot, and you're going to need a lot. Look at the markets, what we're doing today, folks. We've had a we've had a 60-point move in the S&P, 30 up, 30 down. I mean, that's just uh, – and it isn't over yet. <laughs> so anyway, those are some of the things that we're, you know, paying close attention here uh, this morning. So let's uh, let's keep uh, keep doing that. We also had a big move in gold. We broke out above the 1820 level. We went up to about the 1830 level. Level. But frankly, I'm in, in a situation where I really think that uh, we're probably going to have a reversal today in gold. But that's it. All right. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty. And I'm going to try to get Tim Bost will be our guest. You know, we've been talking about this particular pattern for a very, very long time. But I want to go through and we're going to walk through what's happening with uh, our good friend Apple, because it's a uh, very interesting what we're looking at here. I'm going to walk through this just like I do. I'm going to be doing this and I do the live uh, where we make money trading. That'll be on August the 11th. Mark your calendar for that day because I'm going to go through some of these things and uh, try to really explain them. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the secret behind the AI program that I use. It's a, it's a quick and dirty way of doing it, but it works pretty good. And I'm going to share that with the folks that uh, join the webinar on that day. It takes about an hour to explain it, and it's really simple to follow. But here's the Apple on a four-hour chart. Remember the key times that we looked at? We had that. The first one, of course, was the three. 382 down there at 126. Then we made the 78% level at 139. We came down, hit the 786 on the downside at 121. Then we went up to 127, back to 121. And look at the key time there when we were at the 61% retracement, how we broke out to the upside. And here's where we are over the last, this is a four-hour chart, so this is the last five or six days. You can see here, if you're in this red box, you can see this three drive to a bottom. Uh, three drive to a top pattern that you're looking at because I've been talking about this pattern uh, <laughs> since Hector was a pup and that dog's 19 years old. All right, let's move on here and look at the next one in Apple that we want to watch. Okay, now we watch the Apple that way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and look at it just a little bit longer time frame. And what we're going to do now is we're going to bring up Mr. Apple on a long term weekly, and we'll get that up here. And guess what you're looking at here, folks. There's a three drive to a top pattern going back to last August. There's drive one, drive two, drive three. We're sitting right up here at this 149 level, which is the level that those three drive to a top pattern on the four hour chart measured to. Now, all I did was I, because I, I do run Apple on a uh, on an AI program, what I've done is I put up the um, the AI for what Apple was supposed to be doing today. And remember, this is just a uh, it's just a forecast. It doesn't always work, but when it does, you'll see that we measured right up to around that 149 area. So whether this is going to work or not, I don't know. But this is what we try to do is to line up the patterns with the time to give you a place to enter the trade without too very much risk. Now, one of the reasons, the main reason, to get back to the letter that Tom Tommy Conservative is what he called himself, uh, asked me, was, you know, why do I, you know, talk, speak a lot, being humble a lot. Folks, that humble thing, that, that's a big deal for me. Let me tell you why. During 68, it's 1968 through 1972, I was far, far from humble. And I'll go into that when we come back. This is an interesting story. So stay tuned. 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides subscribe to basil chapman's newsletter the opening call and you too can ride the wave basil chapman is an authority in technical analysis his chapman wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984 TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. 
ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I was talking about the time period between 1968 and 1972. you got to realize I'm a little country boy from Terre Haute, Indiana, and uh, I was working for Eli Lilly. I'm in the West Coast, and I made a couple of bucks, and I was very, very, very arrogant. I mean, I was really um, – the, the good part about it was uh, – you know, I, I, we, anyway – the good part it was because there were a lot of brokers, a lot of people in there, brokers and stuff that had financial problems, and I was making a lot of money. So I extended credit to a lot of these guys to get their accounts done, and you know I, I did it, and because I, I knew they could make it if they just kept you know trying and doing it and stuff. Later on, you know when I lost the money, those those folks did not know that I lost the money. There was only a few people in that office that knew that I had dropped a, a whole bunch of money. And uh, but anyway, some people paid me back, some people didn't. But that that made me realize that the, the humility that you have to have in this business, because if you don't have humility, uh, you can be confident, which is good. But you need to be humble, too, because we all know that you're a heartbeat away from it's all being over. So that's one of the reasons why, you know, I try to do that. Yes, I do have the confidence. But the question that someone else asked in the letter is, when did I know? When did I really know? That I could uh, that I could make a living at this. I, I, I folks, I knew that back when I was doing silver, you know, back in '64, '65, and '66. But the real breakthrough for me, the real breakthrough for me, was I mean, uh, there was quite a few of them along the way. But it was when I was at Drexel Burnham Lambert because I was trading uh, large accounts. Uh, you know, we had, um, well, probably I was trading around $20 million, but I was making money consistently over a five-year period from 19, uh, six, 1976 through 1982, I made over 100% a year. Now, I know that that sounds crazy, but I did. But the problem was it's very heavily biased because I was bullish gold and silver in a long-term bull market. And every time I got into a problem, it would bail me out. So what I knew was that the big, the big turn for me, the reason why I could do this, is that I knew that if I could keep myself from taking a big hit, that I could win because I was winning better than 60% of my trades. So all I had to do was 
control my risk. So the only way that I could do that was to set up rules. And my number one rule was a three-day rule. I put this in my books. I don't talk about it here, but I should. And that is, if at the, if the opening of the third day, if I have a loss in something, then I have to exit the position and move on. That's what I have to do. So that's the key to, for me is to realize that if you don't have a profit at the end of that, and you could do this if you were doing a four-hour chart, you'd say after four, you know, 12 hours, you don't have a profit, then that's it. A perfect example, I wasn't in the hog trade yesterday, but the, the key was you're coming right into the close, and I'm saying this for Bo, and you, you're looking, you're selling it at, uh, at 60, and it's now trading at 90. You're only, not, you're only out about uh, not even $100. But the problem is, as you come into the close, you don't have any control on the risk. Because you know, you could have opened limit up, could have opened limit down. You don't know that, but you don't have any control. And that's what you want to do is have the control. So that that three day rule really uh, really told me that once I did that, I'm able to. Those of you that follow the 24 seven, you know we've we've been doing we're doing very good. But the thing is, you know we don't have long strings of losses. We might have one or two losses in a row, but we have, you know you know strings of winners, but not big strings of losers. And no, not a big loser. You know we're going to get whacked, of course. But uh, there's not going to be any big losers because you, you protect yourself, move on to the next one, and that'll keep you in the game. And you've got to learn to do that. How long does it take to learn to do that? Folks, it, everybody's different. You know, I've trained people, and I, I still get an occasional student. But most people, they just don't want to do the work necessary. They'll sit there, and they'll watch the machine and keep trying to do it themselves, and they can't figure out why or whatever, and, you know. But they, they just don't they don't seek any help. I was lucky. You know, I, I started with help back in 1970 with John Hill and before that with Jim, um, with Professor Jim. So, you know, those are things that you have. And the other that's a good thing that you have here at TFNN. You've got Basil Chapman. The guy's got 50 years experience. You ought to listen to that guy. You know, he's very good. You know, his opening call thing is is a, is a home run. And you get a couple of months of that plus a, a 10, 10, 12, 15 hours of uh, education. So I really highly recommend that. It's better than taking your wife out uh, to dinner. I mean, that would uh, it's not much more than that. So that's what I highly recommend for today. But always, you know, continue to learning is always very good. And you have to practice the mental part of this. Because the mental part of this is the most important part. That's that nine-inch cycle between ear and ear. Don't don't worry about what your family says. You, if you once you know that you can do this, hey, once you once you're successful in doing it, it's altogether different. They're going to say, "Oh, I knew you could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you could do it." <laughs> no big thing. I can remember. Here's a here's a good funny story for you. I can remember uh, when. When this was during 19, oh, I think it was 1974, uh, living in Westlake Village. I was still working with Lily, not too happy getting ready to leave, but doing a lot of study and stuff. We had to go to a, a big party, and one of my neighbors came up and, and realized that I wasn't leaving early in the morning anymore. And that, uh, and he said, uh, you know, what, you're having a little rough time. And my little daughter, Laren, was there. She was, I think, seven years old. She said, don't worry about my dad. He's just in between fortunes. And I always remembered that. So <laughs> anyway, it's uh, those are just things. But uh, it, it's, it'll come to you when you know. You, you won't have to ask yourself that question. You'll know. You'll wake up some morning, and you'll be able to look at that machine and say, you know what? I, I can I can beat it and beat it means you got to be able to beat yourself first but it takes time to get there you got to do baby steps but once you do those you're going to be far far better off uh, but it takes time uh, people are there to help you if you reach out and you'll be able to do it you have to find the the thing that you like to do there's a lot of ways to skin this cat folks you can use moving averages oscillators you know if you teach them how they work they're work, they're going to work great for you do you know why because once you understand how it works it becomes yours that ABCD pattern, that's not mine. That belonged to H.M. Gartley and Benoit Mandelbrot. All I do is I show you what these what these numbers are. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And that's the key to uh, you know being successful is to try to try to learn to do that. So it, those are just a few things. I hope this helps. I'm rambling rambling on, but this is what you probably want to hear sometime. Because I Al tells me the lights are all 
uh, lit up. No one can get through on the calls anyway. But anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. We will have Tim Bost on at the at the break, and he's very very entertaining, and he had some great stuff the last time he was here. He said that market for stocks was going to explode on July the seventh, and boy, explode it did. And we're having some uh, you know huge moves here with these things. So it's very very important to watch how things are uh, jumping around here uh, so far. Uh, this morning. Hold on here. I want to just check a few things. We bought them pretty much uh, where we thought we were going to bottom here in the S&P down there a little while ago. Going below new lows today now and in any of the indices, of index these folks would be uh, quite negative because it would set up an outside day where you have a higher high and a lower low than yesterday and you don't want that to happen. As a matter of fact, last night, if, you, if you're if you following the, the Russell at all, and this is one of the things that we were doing here, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see here. Last night's low in the Russell was exactly at the 61% retracement of the whole range from July the 8th. And you can see here how the market started off. Well, we're we're way, 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 way lower. I mean, this just gave up the ghost big time here in the Russell. Hey, we'll be back with Tim Boss, 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, uh, we have a little technical difficulty so far with Tim. Hopefully we'll have him on. But I posted a chart here that we had. He posted three days ago from David White, uh, you know, who works with Tom O'Brien at TFNN and also has his own show here. But uh, you'll notice here he has this automatic uh, program that picks out these gardleys and butterflies. This one was the one for wheat. Mr. Z was on talk, talking about this particular ETF. It worked just as well with the cash wheat as this one, but you'll notice it was absolutely perfect. Uh, the bottom came in at the 78% level. Uh, it's had a very, very substantial move here. But the good thing is, look at the look how it picks out the ratios automatically for you. I mean, it's just really, uh, it's a great program. It's all part of why we support you know, TFNN, because uh, this is one of the better products. Uh, they're all good, of course, <laughs> I have to say that. But this is the one that's my favorite because it, you can see it. You know, I'm I'm a very visual person, and when I look at those things, that's what I want to be, uh, you know, paying very, very close attention to. So that's the main thing. Now, I do want to get just be repetition is the mother of knowledge here. Uh, I, this is one of the most important charts that we're that we're looking at here, folks. I want to bring this up to show you here. This is the uh, margin debt. This is where we are. You can see here the red dots is where we had other recessions and stuff. Of course, it's different this time. This is we know that already for a fact, because we have Robin Hood and all the other boys, you know, doing this kind of stuff. So it is different this time, as as we all know. Now there is uh, one other chart that uh, I want to bring to your attention that's also on the same realm as that. And that is this one where the households are now setting with 40%, 41% of households have, have equity allocations as percent of their total financial assets. That's the highest level we've ever seen. As you can see, the 1968, which was the original high, then the one in 2000 was a little better. But, but you'll notice here that uh, where we are now is in, in the stratosphere. And I, I say that because I'm looking at this and I, I can see it coming. I can sense it coming. I don't know if it's coming. But these are things that I try to alert you to the fact that, you know, maybe something, you know, there's a few things out there that could possibly go wrong. What? I don't know. All I can tell you is this is what I'm seeing. Whether they work that way or not, I don't know. But they jump around quite a bit. And that's the main thing, you know, that you want to pay very, very close attention to. Okay. One other chart that we need to talk about here is the gold market. Let's just take a look at where we are right now. This is it. Uh, this is a four-hour chart on gold. We were expecting it to possibly get above this level because you'll see here that we hit the 382 retracement. We hit it one, two, three times. The most recent time was yesterday, and that was right at the 18th level. We backed off a little bit today, and we went all the way up. to We, we hit, didn't quite make the 1.27 expansion. We got to 18.32. And just missed it by actually a heartbeat. We're trading a little bit below over that right now, but this is going to be. Uh, we need to we need to stay above 18, uh, 18 today, folks. Because if we don't stay above 18, 18, this could be a false breakout, and uh, you don't want to get involved with that. I, in fact, I was. We were watching that earlier this morning, uh, and it, it seemed like it was going to run up forever. And boy, it stopped right at that 18.31, and immediately, you know, broke about uh, 11 or 12 dollars. Since rallied back about 50%. Uh, now we're trading around. Last time I checked, we were trading around 18.20. And now, in the house, without further ado, we have the man himself, Financial Cycles Weekly, out of Florida, Mr. Tim Bost, has the mic. How are you, Timothy? Welcome, sir. I mean, had a little uh, glitchiness with the internet here today, but uh, oh, such welcome. is life. Glad, glad well, to be with oh, you. Uh, thank you very much. It's it's welcome to be with you too, my friend. I can tell you that uh, the internet and the, the computers are the source of the bane of my existence, as uh, Chevy Chase used I to bet say. You. We, 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 here yeah. we are, <laughs> globally yeah. connected, and it all doesn't work. But, um, <laughs> so okay, we now so to, we to, to, today. You got the mic, buddy. It's all you. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. I thought you wanted to say something there. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> but nope. At any rate, let's let's focus a little bit on what's going on this week here, because uh, as usual, what we're doing is taking a look at some planetary action 
and correlating that with action or potential action in the markets. Uh, and our constant quest is trying to figure out how uh, accurate this stuff is, how reliable it can be uh, as a trading device. So uh, that's one of the things that we're concerned about here today. We're taking a look at uh, Chiron, which is a comet. Uh, uh, we call it a Centaur comet, and it was discovered back in 1977. Uh, I was a little younger then, but uh, it was quite it made quite a splash when the astronomers found this strange object out between the orbits of Saturn and Uranus. Uh, they concluded they'd found a new planet, and that created a little bit of a stir amongst the uh, astrological community that I was a part of. So we uh, decided to do some research on it and uh, looking at it in terms of its potential astrological impacts as well. Uh, it turned out later there was not a planet. It has a vapor trail, <laughs> so that means it's a comet instead. But it's a pretty big one, and it has a 50-year cycle through the zodiac. So every 50 years, it comes back to approximately the same point uh, where it was uh, previously. Uh, so it's a slower cycle, a little slower than, than Saturn, uh, which is about a 30-year cycle, and Uranus, which a uh, 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 little bit uh, uh, sl uh, slower than, than Uranus, which is 84 years, and a little bit fa uh, longer than Saturn, which is uh, just shy of 30 years, about 29 and a half years there. Uh, but we call it the inconvenient benefic. It uh, typically is associated with very, very beneficial things that happen in the worst possible way. Uh, so it's uh, it's a very helpful kind of pain in the neck uh, situation. Uh, sometimes it, it uh, creates major problems, big crises, uh, and we have that uh, dark storm that ultimately has a silver lining if we kind of stick with uh, the process here. Uh, but what's going on is uh, tomorrow, in fact, we have uh, Chiron making a retrograde station. Like most of the outer planets, it uh, has periodic times when it goes into retrograde motion. Uh, that will be happening here on the 15th of July. And it will stay retrograde until the 19th of December. It's about a five-month uh, span each year uh, that it goes into retrograde motion. Uh, last year, that was between July 11th and December 15th. Uh, next year, it will be July 19th through December uh, 23rd. So it advances by a few days uh, each time around. Uh, but once a year, it will make a retrograde station like back and take a look at uh, with our back testing. Uh, and so uh, that's what has caught our attention here today. Uh, and uh, we believe that this particular uh, dynamic uh, with the Chiron beginning its retrograde uh, phase here uh, bears a special significance largely because of the way the specific alignments are uh, at the time uh, of this retrograde station, uh, which will be tomorrow on the, the 15th of, of July. Uh, as Chiron goes retrograde, it will hit the midpoint of the uh, zero Aries uh, degree with uh, the planet Pluto. Uh, and, uh, of course, being Chiron, things can be problematical with it, but we're looking for big opportunities coming out of that. Uh, and the notion of uh, Aries-Pluto is about widespread growth, uh, things that happen really at a, at a global uh, level to create major changes and transformations. So we're looking for that to be one of the potential triggers this time around with this uh, Chiron retrograde station. Now, now, we may not see all that play out uh, instantly, but we're going to uh, take a look at it here. Let's take a break here with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. We'll be right back with you, Tim. Stay tuned. You okay, Tim? I'm good. Can you hear me? Looking good, feeling good. All right, we're good. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, talking to Tim Boston. Tim, you're giving us some information here about the S&P 500 and a Chiron retrograde trade. Right. We've got uh, all kinds of trading opportunities being set up uh, with this Chiron uh, retrograde uh, station, and that's coming up tomorrow. So we're looking at uh, upcoming trends based on that. Uh, in this chart, uh, as well as the others that we're going to show here in a couple of minutes, uh, we are looking at that zero point in the middle uh, as the date of the station that will be occurring tomorrow. On the left side, we've got roughly 30 days prior to that. These are calendar days. And on the right side, uh, 30 days following uh, that period. So we've got the minus 10, minus 20, indicating times before uh, the date of, of this particular phenomenon. And then the uh, positive numbers on the right, indicating dates afterwards. Uh, this is based on our historical research with the S&P uh, 500. And we've had 60-odd uh, uh, different uh, opportunities here to go back and check what is happened each time we've had one of these phenomena occur we average them all together and this is what the uh, trend line looks like uh, typically uh, so we have a, a, a market that m tends to move up a bit into the time of the station a period of a little bit of consolidation for a few days before that and then a move upward uh, after that uh, so based on this uh, we found the highest probability trade uh, sets up for tomorrow in fact with the S&P on the date of the Chiron a retrograde station that will be July the 15th our plan is to uh, buy uh, the S&P on that date this is a swing trade not a day trade here uh, because we are anticipating hanging on to that until the 9th of August uh, that time frame then uh, has a 70.3 percent probability of being a winning trade we've investigated shorter time frames and different kinds of configurations this looks like the optimum trade based on this particular uh, planetary station that we have coming up tomorrow uh, so we're, we intend to buy the S&P on July the 15th and then uh, sell out that position on August the 9th uh, the gain should be fairly modest we're talking a little less than 1% on average here although it could go bigger than that uh, but we do have that high probability that attracts us to this uh, potential trade 
Well, that's good. Now, you've got another one coming up in the uh, Treasury bonds. You want to tell us what you're looking at here, Tim? Absolutely. Let's take a look at uh, the 30 years on this. And as you can see from a glance here, uh, we're still looking with that zero point in the middle, uh, defining the, the time of the station itself. Uh, but what's going on is a general downtrend that accelerates after about uh, uh, two to three weeks uh, following the, uh, the the date of the station here. Uh, so uh, in investigating all the possible ways of trading that, we've concluded this was going to be a short sale. Uh, and interestingly, enough here uh, if we wait until uh, the 19th of July which will be next Monday to enter this trade it gives us a, a, the best advantage uh, with this we will sell short uh, on Monday and then plan to cover that position on the 10th of August again uh, based on this time frame we do want to pick up on that big uh, push to the downside there uh, and in this case the probability is not quite as high but still respectable 65.8% uh, a little shy of a two-thirds probability uh, here, and we're looking uh, as well at a potential downturn of about one and a quarter percent, something like that, on the basis of this uh, trade. Uh, we, th we think that uh, could be advantageous there. Uh, and again, a swing trade. Uh, we're not uh, day trading this. We do have uh, some positions that are a little bit shorter term, uh, but this is one of those that we want to pick up on that uh, downward momentum, that, that selling pressure that we anticipated uh, in the bond market uh, following this. Um, should we take a look at oil? Yes, Tim. I want to mention, by the way, you knocked the thing out of the park on that Zeus thing when you were on two weeks ago, you know, buying on July the 7th and look for explosive move up. I mean, that was just absolutely spot on. Well, uh, was that this, just a case of you getting lucky or what? Well, we try, we try to be as lucky as we can, uh, but uh, you know, I wait till when I get get to Vegas to, to depend on that. Uh, yeah. This is uh, really about back testing and discovering the real probability. What we're looking at, Larry, is uh, examining uh, the past performance. Of course, the old adage is uh, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. Anything can happen in the markets, and it typically does. Uh, so we can't guarantee an outcome any specific time, but at least we can tell what the likelihood is. Is here and that's exactly what we're doing uh, in looking at this uh, situation uh, with oil this is the, the chart uh, the USO ETF here for the oil index uh, and uh, here uh, we can see that there's typically a, a move upward into the Chiron station and then a pretty sharp downtrend after that very very challenging market to trade on this basis uh, but we uh, learned that if we sell this short uh, tomorrow on the 15th of July and then hold uh, until uh, the 26th, uh, 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 which will uh, uh, be coming up here two weeks, uh, uh, Monday a week uh, uh, from that, about a 10-day uh, uh, time frame on that trade. Uh, we have an 80% probability of a winning trade. We like that uh, uh, that probability. So, uh, and again, uh, the caution always with short positions is there's an infinite amount of risk, uh, but we believe that with this kind of probability, it's worth a roll of the dice on, on, on this one. Mm -hmm. Boy, that sure sounds uh, – these are the kind we like to see. Now, you uh, also have one uh, – if you oh, something happened to my computer. Oh, love to – oh, it's coming back. Hold on. Just bear with me. Right. We have the next one we have here is on gold, and I don't believe you have given us a gold – uh, probability trade in a very long, long time, but this one's uh, quite interesting. It's right at 65%. You want to tell the folks what we're looking at here in the gold? Right, and as we look at the, at the, the precious metals with regard to this particular uh, astrological dynamic, uh, they don't have quite as high a probability as we'd ideally like to see, uh, but the trend here for gold is uh, upward at this point. Notice from this chart, however, that for about a week's time, again, these are calendar days uh, on the chart, not trading days, uh, so for about a week's time, we have some congestion with a little bit of, of a bearish bias uh, to it before things uh, take off. Even so, uh, looking at uh, uh, the optimum trade here, we believe that tomorrow right on the date of the uh, Chiron station uh, is the best entry point for this trade. If we hold that until the 12th of August, we have that 65.6% .6 uh, probability of it being a winning trade. Uh, so again, a swing trade uh, and we need to have some patience there. Uh, don't feel that it, there's an interesting... You 
you know, if we could get a, a, a better price swing potentially out of it if we held off for a few days, uh, but the probability drop, uh, drops radically. Uh, so and, uh, we'd like to study the, the uh, number of times that that strategy has worked in the past, and this is based on that. Tim, we have a question from one of our listeners about the cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Any uh, any words of advice you'd like to share with us on uh, the crypto well, trading here at around 33000 right now? The advice I would have is to wait about uh, 45 seconds here. We'll take a quick look at silver, and then we got a Bitcoin chart. How's that? Ah, hey, there you go. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, just, you know, I've, I've gotten some questions about silver. That's the reason I threw this one in here for today. And it's interesting here as well. Uh, that we're, we're looking uh, in this case uh, a fairly similar picture to gold. That's not uh, not unusual. Uh, the the metals tend to, to mirror each other somewhat. <coughs> right, could you stay with us, Tim? We'd like sure. to hear what you have to say about the cryptos. We'll be right back with Tim Boss, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Tim Boston. We were talking about uh, the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. You want to give us a quick uh Heads Bitcoin up what you think is going to happen. is coming up here. Indeed, uh, we are anticipating uh, a bullish uh, surge here with Bitcoin starting in about a week from now. 
now. Uh, and so what we're looking at is buying on this uh, station tomorrow at the 15th of July, uh, selling on August 4th uh, as a 77.8% probability of a higher uh, of a winning trade. And we're looking for a move there of a run. Around uh, 6% or so, uh, a little shy of that perhaps, uh, but uh, we've been getting this basing action going on at about 33,000 uh, for some time. I believe uh, earlier today was at 32,800, uh, so we're believing this is uh, strengthening as a base for an upward move, and this could be the trigger for that. Well, that's great. Do you have any webinars coming up, Tim? We do indeed, and in fact, we're developing some brand new programs here as well, uh, uh, specifically on uh, the teachings of W.D. Gann and applying those uh, to the markets. Uh, so uh, connect with our special access here. We've got specifically for viewers of this show, go to bit.ly slash Tim Larry P, capital T, capital L, capital P. Everything is lowercase. Uh, besides that, we'll get you hooked up with our next free webinar as well as the information on our upcoming Gann program that were uh, got in the works right now. And believe it or not, Tim, I have a spot open up on the 29th of July, so we hope we can have you on then, okay? And we'll make that happen, my friend. All right. Thank you so much. Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, folks, out of Bradenton, Florida. God bless you, my friend, and be safe, okay? Okay. We'll see you Thursday, July 29th. Looking forward to you it. You got it. You got it. Right. Folks, this is it. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.